Hi, this is LibreOffice 6.3 recently launched and we want today to see from view user interface we want to see these uh, versions uh, you can use in order to make LibreOffice to look good for you. So what we see now it's standard interface you are used to this so let's look for single toolbar um, when I'm inserting a table the toolbar is unchanging everything is the same it's the sidebar as I talked in a previous video it's a side it's a interface that you have here the format bar is not in the top so if I want to format this text I have on the right the option to um, change the text let's go further we have tabbed interface it's like Microsoft ribbon uh, you can see here we have all these tabs uh, if I want to do something for example to insert something I have everything uh, at hand for example if I want to insert here a symbol I go to insert and I'm searching for symbol I don't use this interface I'm not used to it so let's search for euro I let's I have search here and I choose this and insert okay now if I go to symbol I have recent recent uh, symbols so I can use later very easy and you can see now I have two symbols in the recent symbols if we want to change now user interface you go from here uh, we have tabbed compact now it's the same user interface but uh, we have just only one row here with um, menus and the same we can insert uh, here let's go back to the same we have insert and so on let's see reference here and reference here you can see we have two rows and in the compact mode in reference we have one row so it's more compact this we have group bar compact so we have for example for um, for table if I insert a table I have here grouped all these icons just for table so I can split the cell in two very easy um, I can do anything else anything I need for table from here I just don't need to go from right click or another menu everything is your hand okay so I can merge the cells and so on anything I want if I if I am outside the table the um, toolbar is changing also I can add menu bar here if you are used to this menu bar you can activate anytime from here I prefer with it so let's go further we have another user interface you can change user interface from here if you have menu so let's go to contextual single if I'm outside the table the menu disappear in the top and if I'm clicking outside everything is changing you can see now for example for the text it's on the single line but if I'm clicking here I can align the text to be in the center of the cell so I'm clicking in the center of the cell I'm writing something here if I'm writing a text now you can see it's in the middle of the cell 
but for, for this I don't have that option in the top menu. It's changing depending on what I am doing. It's very useful to have everything at hand just when it's needed. I can insert columns, also I can delete rows and so on. Now let's go to standard. I like very much this um, standard toolbar. If I am in a table, in the bottom you can see I have a menu, a useful menu. I have in the top standard toolbar, format toolbar, and here we have table toolbar. So it's very useful. You can see it disappearing, appearing again when I need it, and so on. It's very useful and also it's the standard that LibreOffice is using when installing this. If we go to Tools, Options, and from here you choose from LibreOffice Advanced, here in the bottom we have Enable Experimental Feature and you need to restart this. This way we have two more options here in User Interface. We have um, contextual groups and also uh, group bar. This is contextual single I see we have seen before. So what we have now, we have contextual groups. Let's see. So in the bottom you can see it's very different from what we have seen before and let's check another interface group bar so it's very powerful in a way you have everything here you have many options for everything but it's very for me is too much. If I activate menu bar, I have one row for menu bar, standard menu bar, and also two rows, two more rows for the menu. It's too much for a little screen. So, personally, I prefer standard toolbar, but um, options are different, persons are different. I hope you like this video. Uh, you can check everything like this you have seen in my video please subscribe and watch the other video about LibreOffice thanks and please subscribe